Um, well, that brings us to um, your soul and the law of attraction. Because the question actually has a lot to do with the law of attraction. So perhaps what we need to do is just discuss a little bit about the law of attraction. Does that yeah. sound alright? Your soul, remember, is what? Emotions. Your emotions. your soul. <coughs> and of course your soul has hundreds of attributes, all of the same type. They are all the things that define your personality and your personality modifies as you absorb more and more different emotions and different feelings and develop different desires and different passions. That's what happens to your soul. So there's your soul. Your soul creates everything that happens to you. Everything. So if you're in a situation that seems to be a no-win situation, your soul created that. And it's a soul emotion that created that. And the soul emotion is an emotion of saying, I, no matter what I'm doing, I'm useless. No matter what, I'm do, what I do, I'm stuffed. Now, that's a hopeless emotion, isn't it? Can you see that? So it's actually a hopeless emotion that exists in the soul that that situation is triggering for you to work through. And the only way you're going to be able to work through it is by grieving about it. So when you grieve about the hopeless emotion that's in your soul, the hopeless emotion will leave you and then you will no longer be confronted with what seem to be hopeless situations. Yeah, but what if another person's involved and you're trying to do the best for that person? That's right. It makes no difference how many people are involved. You will find if you feel your emotion, everything around you will automatically change and adjust to suit the new soul condition inside of you. Now, yesterday, can I give a few examples of this first? Yesterday, I was talking to the group over at Dubbo, and I gave an example of when I was on a flight uh, coming back from London to Australia. I was on this flight, and I always make sure, because I'm vegan, I don't eat meat or, or, or dairy products or anything like that, and when I always make sure that I tell an airline what I'm, I can eat so that on the flight I can have something to eat. So as per usual, all of the flights that I had overseas, I always do that. And on this flight coming back to Australia, everyone in the plane got fed and I didn't get a meal. So it all got, you know how it all gets distributed and it all gets distributed and all gets distributed. And then, like, I was the only one, everyone's around, everyone, <laughs> even my girl next to me, she's got her milk, you know. And she, she got her milk that I ordered for her <laughs> as well, which was also a vegan milk. And, but I didn't get my vegan milk. And, and so I could have, at that moment, put up my hand and said, Look, what's going on? Where's my milk? <laughs> Couldn't I? Yeah. Which is the average response most people would have done, isn't it? Okay. Did you say she was vegan as well? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you were left out. I was left out, yeah. <laughs> so what was my emotion creating this event? I'm overlooked and left out and nobody really cares about me. You follow me? Yeah. So what I did was I sat down and just allowed myself to get into that emotion. And my soulmate's next to me, she's saying things like, oh, you sure you don't want some of mine? Because <laughs> <laughs> she was feeling a bit guilty. And I said, no, 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 I don't want any of yours because this is my creation. I need to own this. Then she was a bit angry with me for being a martyr. I said, no, 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 I'm not a martyr. I'm just, I am just you know, trying to stay in this emotion. You watch what will happen if I can deal with this emotion. So what I did was I just, I just allowed myself to sit down and put my headphones on and I started crying. So I cried for about 15 minutes on the plane. <laughs> you get away with that on planes. <laughs> Lots of people cry on planes, you know. Like, and they've just left their loved ones somewhere else. You get away with it, you do. And so, you know, slight concern from other passengers, but that's all. And so, so I cry the emotion and I, and, I'm, and I didn't connect to all of it, but after about 15 minutes, I had two attendants come up to me and say, oh, you didn't actually get a meal, did you? And I said, no. And they said, well, what do you like? And I said, well, I'm vegan, and uh, what I'd really like is a big bowl of some like pumpkin soup or something like that, and, and a big, big salad. You know, that's what I'd really like. I was being a bit facetious. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to get that. But I said, I said look, anything that's not meat, I'll look at, you know. They said, oh, we'll see what we can do. And five minutes later, they come back from first class 
with a big bowl of soup and a big bowl of salad for me. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Yeah. So you just need to actually consciously put yourself into a, a mode that can bring up that emotion. That's all you need to do. You don't need to actually think about what the actual emotion might be, word to it, nothing. It's, it's okay, just feel it. Just feel it, Try and, and when you it. feel it and experience it, everything around you will automatically change and adjust to your new soul condition. And you, those um, techniques that you spoke about earlier that you're going to talk to us about, we could also use one of those techniques. Yes, in, but... In making that divine connection. True, yeah. Okay. But, but if you're not willing to feel your emotions, you will find that your life is so... Like you're getting, going to be triggered every day with all of the emotions that are inside of you until you decide to experience them. So understand... Does everyone understand what I was saying there with yeah, what was going on? Yeah. The power of your soul is that all you need do is clear away the emotion that created the event and you will automatically change future events. That's all you need to do. You don't have to talk to anybody about it. In fact, if you talk to someone about it, usually you're avoiding the emotion. You don't need to talk about it. You don't need to rave on about it or anything. You just need to feel the emotion.